And meanwhile, yesterday, Senator, Senator Grant joined our very own Maria Bartiromo on Sunday Morning Futures, urging Republicans to keep fighting. He joins us with more. Uh, you said it's critical, and you said if we don't fight based on whistleblowers. Uh, by the way, Lindsay, I thought list whistleblowers matter. Was I wrong? I even hearsay whistleblowers were so important <laughs> that non-whistleblower, hearsay whistleblowers. My question is, when people say that, and we'll, we'll sign a, an affidavit under the threat of perjury that they weren't allowed, right. as called for right. by law, to monitor the vote counting, and, the, and as I just right. mentioned, t this is critical. These are real people that I don't think would perjure themselves, well, do you? Well, well, no, but, but here's the deal. The law is a means to an end. Uh, if it doesn't get you to where you want to go, you just ignore it. It's called the Carter Page Warrant Application. How many times do we have to see that when it comes to liberals and the Democratic machine, they want an outcome, the law be damned. So this man in Pennsylvania gave an affidavit to the Trump campaign. I've sent it to the FBI, the Postal Inspector. They're looking at it now. I've got more information. Uh, we're now finding uh, potentially that 25,000 nursing home residents in different nursing homes requested mail-in ballots at the exact same time. You can't ballot harvest in Pennsylvania. What are the odds that 25,000 people in different locations of the same age group requested at the same time uh, a, a ballot? Somebody is up to no good in these nursing homes. We don't need their permission to look into these allegations. We owe it to those who voted for President Trump and the country at large to test this system. If we don't deal with voting by mail uh, in 2020, we'll never win the White House again. The biggest issue, the biggest difference between 2016 and 2020 is the mass use of uh, voting by mail. It is the wild, wild west at post offices, and there are no rules. And if we don't come up with some rules pretty soon, we're going to get killed in perpetuity in presidential campaigns. And I worry about Georgia. I worry about the two Senate races in Georgia. Why do we want to run down every lead and count every vote? we got two elections in Georgia that will decide the fate of the nation. Uh, uh, Purdue and Loeffler are on the ballot. If they win, we have control of the Senate. We can have hearings about all this. If we're not in power in the Senate, there's no venue for us to have all this explored. So I've got a website called lindsaygram.com. All the money's going to go to the Georgia Senate candidates. If you tap into my website, it will tell you how to give money to the Georgia senators in two races we can't afford to lose. And by the way, you already took from your campaign a half a million dollars and, and donated it to the president's uh, uh, yeah. uh, campaign here to get to the bottom of it. To Republicans, if, if we don't fight back now, do you realize what they're doing? Media polling is, is a joke. 17-point deficit in Wisconsin. My opponent was tied with me. I won by 10 points. He raised $2 million. He takes a bogus poll and sends it out to his supporters. They get all jacked up. They send in money. Republicans get depressed. This is a racket. Social media censors conservatives when we want to talk to each other get our point of view out. The state of play in America in 2020 for Republicans is not good. We need to fight back. We win because of our ideas. We lose elections because they cheat us. Senator, this never happened before. You know, it was interesting that the mob and the media, they love to quote the great Anthony Fauci, <laughs> except when he yeah. said, you know, no, it's, it's safe to vote in person, right. socially distant, wear your mask, and, you know, we're yeah. all masked nuts now, yeah. including me, and I recommended it a long time ago. But so now the sure. question is, when you get testimony from people and you find out that they're not allowed, even though the law calls for it, for them to observe the counting of the ballots, but they're 100 feet away or 20 feet away or even six feet away, they could have easily designed a system where they said, OK, here's in gloves and in sure. a mask and you could take a look at the, you know, make sure the signature matches and whatever the process is. They didn't do it. And it seems system wide. What is the remedy? Well, to me, if you have a law to make sure that uh, election counting is observed by both parties and you can't do it, the remedy is to take those ballots off the table that were not allowed to be observed. If you have a signature requirement and it wasn't followed, the remedy is to make sure those ballots collected are not counted. It's pretty obvious if the legislative body passes a law or we're going to allow a handful of people at a polling site to undo it,
Does the law really matter if a handful of individuals on their own can take it into their own hands? Is it okay for people at polling sites to rewrite the law so that Republicans can't watch? Is it okay to ignore the signature requirement, which is there to protect the integrity of the ballot? Democrats could give a damn about this. They don't care how Trump lost as long as he lost. They're not going to ask any questions in the media. I've had a microphone in my face all day. When is Trump going to concede? I said, when are you going to ask a question about the 20? 20 election. When are you going to take seriously the idea that every vote counts? You want an outcome. You know, they can all go to hell as far as I'm concerned. I've had it with these people. Let's fight back. Let's give President Trump all the due process the law allows him. Let's call out cheating when we find it. Let's count every vote. Let's tell the social media companies quit censoring our content. And when the major networks uh, uh, do polling that's way off. We ought to call them into Congress and ask them, how do you do it? And Mitch McConnell and I need to come up with an oversight of mail-in balloting. If we don't do something about voting by mail, we're going to lose the ability to elect a Republican in this country. Senator, wow, powerful. Thank you.